something happened at a school, someone came in and hurt some teachers and hurt some kids. It was important for us after, after her and I talked, you know, that we let the two older kids know that, you know, something bad happened at a school. Kids are very questionable, especially at their age. They're concerned, they're very concerned. They want to know how, when, why. They, they ask you these things, so I think it's very important that you share that with them. Psychiatrist Dr. Gerald Shiner says children here might even be afraid to go to school next week because of what happened. So we must assure them that they are safe, and we must allow them to tell us exactly what they are feeling. It would be hard. Like, you don't, you're lost for words. Like, how do you tell your child, your six-year-old, because they're five and six in a kindergarten, how would you tell a five or six-year-old something like that? It's, it's horrific. Don't be afraid to talk to your kids. Bring this up. Tell them what happened. Listen to what they have to say in response. Help them put their feelings into words. And after you listen to them, then reassure them that they'll be safe. And Dr. Shiner says you should watch for some behavior changes in their kids. They might be clingy or withdrawn or even grumpy. But he says keep the lines of communication open. And school officials say the lines of communication will be open at schools next week. Counselors and teachers will be ready to talk to the students about what happened, this tragedy in Connecticut. Reporting live in Southfield, I'm Cheryl Choden, 7 Action News.